Hi everyone and welcome back to the first garage sale. Sorry, here comes Pip. Um, welcome back to the first garage sale with me and haul video. This is going to be a different video because something really exciting happened that I want to share with you. I'm going to be sharing this with you over the next several weeks and this right here is an example of it. So first I'm going to take you guys with me to a few garage sales and then I will share with you a haul of what I found and then a haul of a ton of other stuff that I will explain after the garage selling part of this video. So first let's go to some garage sales. Do you want to go garage selling with me, Pip? Yeah. So on my first weekend of garage selling this year, I was able to go to a few garage sales, but unfortunately it was kind of rainy, so I tried to make the best of the sales I was able to go to. This first one had a piece of Halloween decor that I did end up buying. I'm really trying to decorate our porch for the different holidays. Um, my mom really loved to decorate, and I'm just trying to honor her in that way, so I did end up buying that pumpkin. I will share that with you guys in a future haul video. They also had this whole section of plushies. I can never resist. I always have to look and see if there's anything vintage or nostalgic for me. And then in another part of this garage sale, I found a lot of Halloween lights and I was thinking about getting some of them, but they weren't in very big sections. Like the, the count of the lights was really small and I just felt like I didn't need to get a bunch of smaller lights. I wanted to have like a larger strand. This was really cool because it was, I think like a bear that you would decorate for different holidays. The little pieces had Velcro on the back of them. And I thought about getting that for my classroom, but then I thought I don't really have a place to put it. Um, I'm kind of running out of, you know, different places to display that kind of stuff. Then there was a little mermaid puzzle I thought was interesting. And at another garage sale, they had several boxes full of different dishware and crafting items. And I found this really cool bag full of what I think are called pony beads, and then a book on how to create like bead animals, like from back when I was a kid. I am so excited about this. I thought these plates were really pretty too. They had like a gold trim to them and they were sort of like in a melt glass kind of style. They also had a whole section of clothing and I've really been resisting like digging through clothing because I can find so much so easily and I just, you know, looked at the a couple pieces on the top but I didn't buy anything. I was really drawn to this denim bag but I did not get it. Just makes me think of the 90s and 2000s. I really do love looking at a whole section of purses. I feel like I can always find some really interesting things. What is this thing right here? I don't know what it is and I was talking with Sean. Does anybody know what this is? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. That bike was really cool too. I really liked the style of it. And then there was like this sort of picnic organizer, but I didn't buy it because I already have something like that at my house. Then Sean found this really cool, like I think it has like an electricity static kind of flow through it. He thought about getting it, but decided not to. Then he thought that this this was a Santa plate, but then when he turned it upside down, it looked like a skull. So he thought it was the, they were like skull plates. And then there was a really, really big garage sale that we went to and they had just such a random selection of things. I saw this scooter that I thought was kind of cool and some chairs that I thought could be good for the classroom. I think this is like a condiment stand, I'm not sure. Some headphones that Sean was looking at. There were so many of these baskets, like so many of them. And then some crafting kits that just made me think of the 90s. This was a like an instrument station. So I was only able to go to a few garage sales last week. There really weren't many. So the really exciting thing that I want to share with you is that my mom and I went to a thrift store earlier this year and there was a gentleman who was bringing in a whole cart of stuff and it was like vintage toys like from my childhood. A little bit later, like mid to late 90s, he was donating at the thrift store and I said, I would love to buy all of that from you um, just because it was all like of my favorite things and stuff that I want to try to sell on Poshmark. And he said to me, you can actually just have it all. And I was like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. So after we talked to her a little bit, he said that he had more stuff in his attic and he was asking if I was interested in it. So he called me earlier this week. I gave him my phone number. He called me earlier this week and he was like, I have all of this stuff ready if you would like me to bring it to you. And I was like, sure, definitely. He came to the house with an entire truck full of late 90s toys and books and he gave them all to me for free. So generous, so kind. I have like 300 books in my car right now that I'm going to be bringing to school. I only grabbed a few things just because literally there is so much. I'm just going to start by every week when I share a garage sale video with you or a thrift haul. I'm hoping it's gonna be garage sale videos from now on. So I'm just going to start sharing with you some of the stuff that 
um, each box contains. All right, so this is actually the only item that I bought and it is something nostalgic. So it has, it's this entire bag of beads. It looks, it looks a bit messy, but they are mostly contained in bags. I think these are called pony beads, but look what's on this side. They are books on how to make those bead animals. Do you guys remember these from the 90s? I loved them. So, and then I think there are also some of these beads in the back that you would use for, what's that? They're called perler beads, I think. I was really excited about this. I think she asked like 50 cents for it at the garage sale. So that's the only thing I'm sharing with you today that I actually bought. Everything else was donated to me from this kind gentleman. The first thing that was on top of the first box is this Harry Potter magical talking Hermione doll. Oh my gosh, look at how cool this is. It's new in the box. The box does have a little bit of damage to it. And on the bottom, the year it was made, 2002. This next item is a game. It's called Electronic Spider Stomping. And it says Talking Electronic Interactive Game. It says over 20 wacky sounds and sayings, soft vinyl play mat and spiders, four games to choose from. Oh, so it's kind of like, um, oh, there's a picture of kids playing it back here. So that's what it looks like. That seems like fun. The other thing that's incredible is everything that he is giving to me, he personally went through and made sure that the batteries worked on all of them and made sure that they actually worked. So literally all of these vintage toys from like the mid to late 90s, he went through and put brand new batteries in. Like, it was just like such a a moment, like a like a fate, like a like a meeting that just was. It wasn't just a coincidence, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just really grateful for his generosity. The next thing is called Makeup Mindy. Oh wow, it like totally changes colors. <gasps> Whoa! So it looks like you can change her hair color with the dryer. It says for the year 1999. Look at this a McFlurry maker. We create a McFlurry anytime, any place. Wow. This says 2003. It says products include one McFlurry maker, one McFlurry cup and lid, one spoon, one plunger handle, mixing handle, two packets of dessert mix, and two packets of rainbow sprinkles. So don't think I'm going to be using those for it, but I'm sure I can. Oh wow. There's actually a Best Buy date right here. It says April, 2005. So I'm not going to be using the packets for it, but I wonder if I can try to use it in a different way. And a lot of what I'm showing you, he, it seems like he really kept the boxes and was just trying to be really careful with everything. A lot of it is actually in the original boxes. This is a, a Dirt Devil Jr. It says, just like mom and dad's really picks up. Oh, that is really fancy. It says beads whirl, lights up, it really cleans. And the, here's the box with the Dirt Devil inside. I do have a niece and nephew as well that are of the perfect age for some of this stuff. So I will be, you know, keeping some of it here for them, giving it some of it to them for like presents and stuff like that. My mom would have loved this. We always, we made some of these when we were a kid, but not when I was older. I have vague memories of making them, but I've always wanted to do, make them again. The Incredible Shrinky Dinks Maker. If you are unfamiliar with Shrinky Dinks, it's like, plastic that you draw on and you cut it out and then you put it in the oven and it heats up and then the plastic like shrinks and it hardens and then you can make it into like keychains um you know parts for necklaces if you can see those are some of the things you can make and then on the size it says it's easy just trace color cut and shrink and this is from 2001 in the bottom of this first box i kept on hearing something making noise and like i said he went through and put batteries in absolutely everything tested everything and so i was like what do i keep hearing and i saw this at first and i was like what is this and i was like it kind of looks like an instrument kind of not i'm not quite sure what this is it says barney on it i was like i wonder what this is i don't have to look very far to figure it out because there's a second one in the box. It is called, let's see, Barney Song Magic Banjo. Magically play songs with a wave of your hand. They put their hand in here and it'll start playing a song. And it's just so cute. To join the Barney fan club or subscribe to Barney Magazine. Next thing is this huge imagination desk. 
It's Leapfrog brand. Magically brings coloring pages to life. It says teaches letters, numbers, phonics, counting, and vocabulary. It says packed full of learning fun. Includes interactive learning desk, coloring gallery template, count and sing express template, 26 page learning letters with leap coloring book and crayons. And this is what it looks like a little bit more. And this is what it looks like on the back. What's the year on this? 2001. So there are a lot of games that he gave. And one of the games that he gave is Stuart Little 2 game. I don't think I've ever seen Stuart Little. Maybe either of them. I'm not sure. Maybe parts of the first one. There's the game. This is what it looks like on the back. Last thing I'm going to share with you today is one of the first items that I saw because it was sitting on top of the box. It is a Powerpuff Girls Monopoly game. Wow. First of all, look at the box. So sparkly and shiny. I loved Powerpuff Girls when I was a kid. It says includes collectible Powerpuff Girls movers. And then this is what it looks like on the back. And then all of the characters are right there. But look, it's I love the shiny front part of it. I love the, the Cartoon Network logo. So I have all of these items. I know what I'm going to do with some of them, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with all of it yet. And I had, I wanted to like ask you guys a question about it. So I know some of it's going to school. I know some of it's going to my niece and nephew. And I, I kind of want to try to sell some of it on Poshmark, but I don't know, like something about that makes me feel like since he gave it to me for free, I shouldn't sell it. I don't know. I'm just kind of conflicted on that. What do you guys think? Do you think it's okay to try to sell it? Because this is the stuff that I want to put in my Poshmark store just vintage nostalgic things. I just, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. Let me know what you guys think. Ultimately, I know it's my decision about what I do with it. And he was just happy to give it to somebody who appreciates it. But let me know what you guys think. Like, should I sell it or should I just only donate it? I don't know. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on that. So that's it for the very first garage sailing video of the season and this really interesting and unique haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite find was and let me know if you're excited to see more of these nostalgic finds. I am so grateful for this person's generosity. It's going to mean a lot to my students and the, the kids in the neighborhood to have more books. If you guys have been garage sailing and finding anything interesting, please share pictures with me of what you're finding. I would love to include those pictures in my videos so we can share with the community all of the awesome some garage sale finds that we're finding. You can share those pictures with me on Facebook at Thrifted Living, on Instagram at Thrifted Living YouTube, or through Gmail at thriftedliving at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!